Hey guys, so I'm going to share with you a tool that you can use for your Shopify store. If you're using Klaviyo as your email marketing tool, I highly suggest that you try in JHL or go high level as well. So aside from the email marketing that you can get, you can also, you know, take advantage of their chat um, widget like the conversation that you can link to the Facebook or other socials you can have like the appointment calendar like instead of using a Calendly the GHL can do that for you so you don't need to pay you know Clavio and Calendly for that um, there's also options to integrate the stores like the products from your Shopify to your GHL and the list goes on. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Shopify account to your GHL to make sure that they speak together. So yeah, so what I really like about GHL is it has already a built in integration for the Shopify and yeah you don't need to do it manually so simply go into the settings at the bottom part and then go into the integration section so in the integration section you can see all the built-in things you can get for Clavio. And if you're using QuickBooks for a payroll, then it's also a good point. So yeah, so to, to connect your Shopify, simply click this connect button in here and you need to put in the admin API access token and your Shopify store. So how you can do that. So simply go into your Shopify account and then go to the settings section and go to the apps and sales channel so in this channel you can see all the application that installed to your shopify account and then this we need to create our own apps so click on develop apps button and then you click on allow custom application you click that one allow custom application and then you click on create an app so for this you need to put the uh, your preferred app name so let's just say jhl and, and then the developer's name so you pick your like this drop down in here the email address will only be visible to the staff member of your shopify so if you want to add a different email address you just need to add them as a staff to make that reflect in here so you click the create app button so um after that the app itself is already created but it's not yet activated so you, in order for you to activate that or install the app into your shopify account you need to configure either the the admin api scopes and or the storefront api access and um with this JHL thing, since this is a back end syncing, you need to configure like this is a admin API scope is enough for you to make the Shopify and go high level talk together. So in here, as you, as you see, admin API access token is the only required um, field that they need. So when you go into the Shopify, I'm um, actually go high level documentation, API Shopify, you will see the step-by-step -step tutorial, but I think this one is a bit different. Like the UI, UX itself is a bit different. It's probably the old version way. But yeah, to do that, again, you, you click that um, settings, you go to the app application, just follow what I did earlier. And then we need to set up our, um, so our webhook. So you click and configure admin API access and we need to um we need to allow some webhooks in order for shopify and ghl talk together so um okay with this documentation the webhooks that you need to allow are the customers read um read details so you type in customer customer so here read and we're not writing anything we're just reading the doc reading the file from shopify to your to our ghl and then the other one as well is um the product so we need to read products as well so products so every time we add a product it will also zinc to our ghl account that's why we need to make this open okay and then the other one as well is the orders 
So you type in or girls. So here read and then ordering and ed order editing. We don't really need that. Um, Jarvis, this script tags and other stuff is not really needed. Order submission rules. Um, we really don't need this to assist our contacts for marketing. So we're fine with that. Um, and then the other thing actually I want that is not stated in the D GHL documentation is the behavior. So if you type in behavior, so here browsing behavior, I want to see their events so I can remarket them or I can create an automation depending on what they were doing. So read customer events. Okay. There are also other features in here as well that you can like use like view or manage application. We don't actually need that. That doesn't apply to our, um, to our marketing, but this count maybe could be helpful. Like whoever, you know, you know, use or read or use our discount codes can be remarketed in some point so you just need to check the files the 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 webhooks that is necessary for your marketing gift cards can be also something we can do view and manage inventory we don't need that don't need that um this one marketing events we probably need that for sure online store navigation yeah we probably need that as well so anything that is um, helpful for you to remarket or target them via automation you just need to check the relevant webhooks so, okay so you click on save button and then you need to click on so once the webhooks is ready configure you just click on the install app and you click on install okay now we already have a ghl um we already have an api shopify api access so i will need to also get the shopify name which you can find at the um and and i will also need the shopify name which you can find in here in your browser url and then you put in the name of the shopify um store and then the api access token you click the ones that and make sure as well you save this because once you um remove once you you close this browser this will be hidden and you need to recreate again another um api token i think there's an option as well to override this but like it's will add you an extra steps to do that so make sure you just save that and make it confidential if you don't want other people read your data so yeah you copy the api access token you put it in your shopify your ghl um back end and you click on connect okay so it should not take long i believe So if we go in in here, let's go back to the um, let's go back to the sub account, and we go back to the settings, and go to the integration. You'll see that it is already connected. These are like these are the only web hooks that they need, but we added some extra stuff, so that's fine. Um, as long as you added the required web hooks, you're good to go. Now, with in terms of zinking, so I currently, you know, do the zinc new Shopify new orders. The zinking will only apply to the new orders and like new products added into your Shopify account. So you can't really see you you still cannot cannot see the new you know purchase and the products. You need to manually import them to your GHL if that is like an existing products or existing orders um, order. So just like what i did um in here on my our other primary account other primary ghl all of the ongoing orders are already zinked automatically to our contacts but we cannot um but the the existing one should need to be imported to the ghl and you just need to export that file um from your shopify account you go into the contact section and then just simply do that and then export it the good thing what i really like about 
you know ghl over at clavia i know clavia is real clavia is really good in terms of remarketing the audience you know creating an abandoned car but um i will abandon car but jhl for me provide more features for you to retarget your customers and yeah um you can try it like just just don't cancel your clave you yet try it first you can use the link below to try for 14 days free trial and you can use the link below to get a 14 days free trial and decide if the ghl is the right fit or you just want or you still want to keep your clavio subscription so that's it for now if you have any question let me know and comment down below